Guys, we're finally getting around to looking at this Skeleton Blade Works Caladan done by Two Your Knives. Jim did an amazing job designing this knife. And we're just going to take a look at it from above because it is an incredibly good knife. So let's turn this around. Guys, this is the Skeleton Blade Works Caladan done by Two Your Knife, like I said in the intro. And I, I am absolutely over the moon with how good this knife is. Now, I didn't heavy use this knife because it's not mine. It's Lefty. It's Kevin's from over at Lefty EDC. But this thing is truly incredible. Uh, it's done by Tuya Knife. Uh, I have the case right here. Uh, Tuya Knife did these and they did a really good job. You can see S90V titanium. You've got the, the you know, the, the item number and it's the Caladan. And Jim did a really good design good job with this design. Let's get a spec sheet up here. I'll find the best spec sheet I can. And let's talk about this knife. So this knife came to me, like I said, from Lefty. And it's got so many things about it that I love. There's very few things I don't like about it. And we'll talk about that closer to the end. This is done in an S90V blade that is a drop point. But it's got this long stretch to it that gives it... A very, very distinct look. It almost makes it look like a recurve, but it's not. It's a, it's actually just a very nice done drop point, almost spear point edge. It's done in titanium scales that have this jigged pattern. And there's a lot of weight reduction in here. We got a couple knives out for size comparison because this is not a small knife. First knife's going to be the big letter XL, uh, just for size comparison because it is a nine inch knife. So that gives you a good size reference. It's just a little bit smaller than the big letter. Your next knife is going to be Benchmade 940. And if you hear my daughter laughing in the background, she's playing with the new puppy. Uh, Benchmade 940, uh, which is a knife that most of you guys should have a good size reference for. So you can see tip to tip, tail to tail, pivot to pivot. It's a good bit bigger than that. And your final knife, as always, is Chris Reese Ben's a large 21. This is another knife most of you guys should know is a good size reference. It is a little bit bigger than that. So it's a good size knife. So let's get this out of the way and talk about this knife overall. So first things first, this is not just one of the most attractive knives that Jim has done. Um, this is absolutely one of the most comfortable. Now, there has been a lot of people say, oh, that knife's not that good. Um, it's just because Jim has a big following and has a large YouTube channel that's getting so much attention. That tells me that that person has never held this knife because I'm going to tell you right now, if you hold this knife, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Jim was a knife reviewer for years before he became a knife maker. He knows what does and doesn't work in knives. He's had literally hundreds, if not thousands of knives come through his hands over the years, and he knows what what feels good and what doesn't. So the shape of this is very, very well done. This um, swell right here gives you an incredible comfortable grip on this where you don't necessarily have the palm swell in the back. You've got this swell here that just puts it in a super, super good position. The sweep of this blade just being a little bit off of center instead of being the tips completely straight with the pivot, it gives you this little bit of drop, which kind of leads to it looking a little bit like a recurve, but not really being a recurve. It addresses any cutting you're doing really well. It gets you right up on it and it like I'm on the cut, but I'm not like straight out from it. And so it allows that to push through material really, really well. I did not cut a lot of heavy cardboard with this because of this fine finish on this, but everything I cut soft wise, I cut some meat, I cut some vegetables and things like that with this, just to see how it would cut, did incredibly well. In and out of pocket, it is a dream because the pocket clip is not an afterthought. Jim absolutely designed this pocket clip to be comfortable and allow you ease of access and carry. And it's just the perfect tension for any pants. I, I've had it in like 5.11s where it reinforced seam at the top of the pocket. I've had it in track pants and I've had it in jeans and it is great. The action on this is just buttery smooth. Not drop shut, but just shy of it. Just a quick shake and it drops shut. You've got beautiful access to the lock bar right here with some jimping on the lock bar that is attractive and functional. I'm typically not a fan of jimping on a lock bar. Sometimes it makes it uncomfortable. In this case, it's not aggressive enough that it feels bad. 
It's not aggressive enough that it hurts your fingers or feels like it would cause a hot spot in hand, but just enough to give you a little bit of traction to on that lock bar with what is already really good lock bar access. It just makes it almost perfect. Lock up on this is great. Uh, steel lock bar insert and a ceramic detent. This is running on ceramic uh, bearings. And the coolest thing about this is without a kick stop, the way this knife is designed, you get a flipper tab that completely disappears. You don't have any of that jimping touch in your hand. It's right there. There are not many bad things about this knife. There are a couple. I do have to say there are a couple. We're going to turn it around. We're going to talk about them right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, this channel, and this video's sponsor. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely Absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically. Check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this Before channel. Before we move on to the bad stuff, I did miss one thing that I absolutely wanted to mention. Uh, he's allowed you a spot for a lanyard in the backspacer, but not putting a big ugly hole in this. I do like that. I don't necessarily like lanyards, but I like you guys having the option, but I definitely don't like lanyard holes. I find them unattractive. Um, so, on the bad side of this, there's only a couple of small things. Only a couple of small things that I've noticed. Um, one of them being uh, the plunge grind comes up a little bit beyond the uh, beyond the end of the thickness of the blade. If I was going to do this, I would have wanted that to come probably have that choil come out just a little further so you don't wind up with that smile. That is absolutely an aesthetic thing, but over time, what you're going to notice is that area is not going to get as sharp. That area is going to start to smile, and you're going to really notice that you've got a difference in the height of it. You can actually see right now there's a high spot right there. Um, the oh, only other couple small things is there's a couple of sharp spots on it. Um, there's a sharp spot right there. Let me zoom in. There's a sharp spot right there on that edge, uh, and it's just that it didn't get chamfered off like the rest of it did, so you have a little sharp area right there. Not a big deal, but if you do have sensitive hands, which I don't, I just like to point these things out in case you do, that could be a hot spot. And then this area right here is almost like it's concaved in. It's almost like this is cut in further down than the edge up here, even though they did knock that... that edge off, it's still got a spot that catches pocket material. See what I'm saying? It looks like it actually sweeps out. So you can feel that in your hand and it absolutely does catch on pockets a little bit, but it doesn't prevent in and out because there's not much tension. You can feel it just bump. It's not like some knives where it catches, uh, but it absolutely does bump a little bit on that. So, But with the pocket clip being longer and it's further down, you're not getting pushed into it. So all in all, I love this knife. It's great. I will try to find a purchase link for it down below. I don't think I have any affiliate links, but that's not going to stop me from putting a link where you guys can purchase it. Um, absolutely a beautiful, beautiful knife, and I'm really happy. Big shout out thanks to uh, Lefty over at uh, Kevin over at Lefty EDC for letting me borrow his personal Caladan. I got to get this packed up and back out to him. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. Yeah, I, I really, really do like this knife a lot. And there's been people, like I said in the video, there's been people that have reached out on the other video I did on this and said, oh, that knife isn't that good. It's just because Jim has a big following and he has a huge YouTube channel. He doesn't have a huge YouTube channel. Um, he actually has a fairly small YouTube channel compared to a lot of the others. And the fact is, if you say that, you've never handled this knife. This thing is a beautiful culmination of a lot of things that a guy that, reviewed knives, studied knives, and now makes knives, did and put in a design that just is really good. And for the first folder he's done, it is, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good start. So guys, that's it on this one. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. 
If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Tell me why I can't change the content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. Liking a video pushes up the algorithm, whether YouTube wants it to or not. More likes means more interactions, means more more views. Um, if you do want to support the channel financially, uh, I know that I put a thing in about Coffee Bear and Coffee, but I also have Tempered Trail. They are both channel sponsors. They share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 5% at checkout. Um, and with the Coffee Brand Coffee one, it's built in. I also have an Amazon store that is down below. If you take that link and you save it to your browser, any shopping you do on Amazon with that, uh, you just search items. You can look at the ideas list that I have down below. But anything you purchase there does not cost you anything extra. It just supports me when you check out. I get a little portion of it, a very, very little portion of it. And the other way, if you really want to support the channel, I do have a membership down below. Everyone gets access to the Gilded server. It's uh, just like Discord. It's a community we've built worldwide. There's always something going on on that server. It's a lot of fun. People are sh chatting, sharing knives, selling knives, just having a good time around the world. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server that are separate from the stuff that I do on YouTube. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's behind that paywall. That's it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>